Happy Halloween, witches! I mean everyone, and welcome to the My Radar Laboratory and this special edition of the My Radar Fast Forecast. I'm your mad scientist, I mean your atmospheric scientist, Leslie Hudson. During our time together, we shall do an experiment or two, dig up some terrifying videos. No, that sounds crazy, not terrifying, exhilarating, yes, exhilarating videos to get you into the Halloween spirit. Oh, is it me? It is so hot in here. Let's see what's going on with the sun, shall we? Will you look at that? The sun looks like a jack-o'-lantern. This happens when the sun has active regions that appear brighter because those areas emit more light and more energy. It just so happens the sun looks like a creepy pumpkin. The weather has gone mad. Look what's going on in Massachusetts right now. It's snowing. Several areas got four to six inches of snow yesterday. In fact, this will be the snowiest October on record for Boston. Eek! I can only imagine what tonight is going to be like. Listen, let's have some fun. Let's make a quick experiment that will amaze all the ghosts and goblins out there. We're going to make fog. What is fog, you say? Fog is a type of mist that forms close to the ground and it's created when warm water vapor mixes with cool air. The cool air is unstable and can't hold as much warm water as the warmer air, so the moisture condenses and fog develops. To make our fog, we're going to do a process called sublimation. Sublimation is a chemical process. In weather, we use the word sublimation to describe snow and ice going straight from a solid to a vapor without becoming a liquid first. Are you confused? Oh boy, let me try and explain it to you this way. We don't want our brains becoming tiny tornadoes, do we? In the mountain, sublimation is known as the snow eater. That's when the snow directly goes to a vapor before it has a chance to melt. And voila, you have fog. Now, since my radar is in Orlando, Florida and not the snowy mountains, we're going to show you how to make fog by taking dry ice, which is all solid, and vaporizing it into a gas to make fog. But since today is Halloween, we're not going to call this fog. We're going to call them boo bubbles. Now, first, here's what you'll need. You'll need dry ice. You can get that at Publix or your local grocer. By the way, dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide, which is about 110 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Ooh, that's cold. You'll also need some warm water. Not hot, but warm. Just some average dish soap and a clear jug. You can recycle and empty out a snack drawer if you'd like. You'll also need a clear cup. You'll need tubing from any home store or a fish store. You'll also need your safety goggles, tongs and sturdy work gloves. Okay, let's make the boo bubbles, shall we? First, let's recap and show what we've got. So, here is our jug with the warm water. You want to make sure it's warm and not hot. We also have our tongs when we're going to be handling the dry ice. We'll show you that in just a second. We have a spoon right here to, for the dish soap. We've got our warm winter gloves and we've got a cup of water right here, just good old fashioned tap water and our dish soap. So what we're going to do is measure out two tablespoons of dish soap. So here's one, this nice bright pink, nice bubblegum color. We're going to mix that in and then we'll get another tablespoon right here and mix that in, give it a good stir. I'm going to get that off, it's sticking to the spoon just a bit. Next, I'm going to put on my gloves. Now remember, these are just winter gloves. These are not sturdy yard gloves or heavy gloves that you would do when you've got some heavy construction going on. So you're going to want to make sure, if you do this, that you use your heavy tongs as well. So I've got these on. Also, you want to put on your goggles. Make sure that you have these on anytime you're going to be handling dry ice. I'm going to take my lid off my jar. I'm going to dig down into my cooler here. And here we go. Carefully place it into, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Now, what you want to make sure that you do is not cover this up. Don't screw the lid on top of the jar. You just want to lay your lid like so. Never want to close it because you can create an explosion and that would be bad. 
All right, we've got our fog right there. You can see our dry ice has gone straight to a vapor. Let's see if we can get a boo bubble. We're going to take the other end of our tube, which has got fog coming right out of it, and go straight into the solution right here, our dish soap and the water, and let's see if we can get a bubble. Oh, there's one. Oh, it popped right away. Let's try again, dip it down into the solution, and we'll pull it out slowly. See if we can get it to hang on to the end. Look at that, you guys. That is awesome. That is a boo bubble right there. I put it over on my next hand like this. That is super cool. Let's try that again. There it goes. Look at that. A boo bubble. Inside of that boo bubble was fog. Now, what could be creepier than a boo bubble? A ghost train. Check this ghost train out in Winnipeg, Canada. Do you hear that train clacking along the tracks? The cold, still air making it like a horror movie of sorts. Oh, how frightful. Let's look at the weather forecast for tonight, shall we? It's getting too freaky in the laboratory. Let's take a look at the trick-or-treat forecast for Sleepy Hollow, New York. 45 degrees at 7 p.m. tonight, not bad at all. As we head into 8 p.m., we're looking at 43 degrees in the bewitching hour there. Looks like it'll still just be partly cloudy. As we head into the late night, when the ghosts and goblins will be out 41 degrees, mostly clear skies, but nothing too frightfully cold about tonight. That is for sure, given the fact that there has been a pretty decent cold front that's moved across the northeast. Take a look at our sat rad here. And you can see a lot of rain and behind it was snow. As I mentioned, it was incredibly snowy yesterday across the New England states. Several records were broke statewide across Massachusetts and other New England states. As we head into tonight, though, mostly clear, nothing scary for the trick-or-treaters. And as we take a look at our forecast highs today, here's how they shake out. We've got 50 degrees in Chicago. And look at that. We've got Frankenstein doing a jig, 44 Cleveland. In the Northeast now, 38 Syracuse, 41 Boston, as well as New York City, 47 for Philadelphia. Down towards the South, we've got 55 in Charlotte, as well as Atlanta. There's Dracula hanging out there doing some fun moves. 71 in Orlando and 60 degrees in Chicago. And in the central part of the country, 64 for Dallas, the mummy also will not be outdone by Count Dracula. 63 Wichita, Denver, gonna be soaking up some warm weather in 70 degrees. 93 for Phoenix, and the trick-or-treaters in Los Angeles will be loving temperatures in the 70s today, burning the midnight oil in Boise, Idaho with 68, 62 degrees for Seattle. Now, how does it look for tonight for viewing the night sky? Pretty good across much of the country, and it is a prime night to capture the blue moon. What is a blue moon, you say? It is the second full moon in a calendar month. A blue moon happens on Halloween just about every 19 years, but this year it's extra special. The last time there was a Halloween blue moon that was seen in all time zones, it was in 1944. And we won't see another Halloween blue moon again until 2039. Back to the forecast we head and we are in the tropics now, taking a look at this area of low pressure that the Hurricane Center Unfortunately, it says there's a 90% chance of development over the next five days. The good news is the Hurricane Center believes this will continue to head through the Caribbean Sea and not be a player for the United States at this point. Unfortunately, it could be problems for Central America. We'll, of course, keep you updated on that as well. Here's a look at our forecast on this Halloween. We've got a frontal boundary draped across the northern tier of the country, going to be producing some showers you can see there through the Great Lakes. And then our cold front moves off the northeast as we head into tonight and tomorrow. Showers will build back in with our second frontal boundary moving across the eastern half of the country and it does mean some wet weather as we head into Sunday and Monday. Hey, 
I hear we're getting some more spooky Halloween videos into the My Radar Laboratory. Let's check them out. Take a look at Bean. He's a creepy combo of a tarantula and a rat, complete with hairy legs. He's called a tarantula. What a horrifying combo of two classic phobias. But Bean sure looks cute to us. Take a look at this next one. This is Count Cacula. This fanged friend has a Twitter account called Lucky Boo, and we are the lucky ones to see him shining those pearly whites. Now, I don't know about you, but I haven't had this much fun since I injected silver iodide into clouds and made it sunny outside. Now, before we wrap up this spooktacular My Radar Halloween Fast Forecast, we're going to try one more experiment. I'm told that if I drink this potion right here, I'll never get a forecast wrong. What could possibly go wrong? On behalf of the My Radar team, we want to wish you a very safe and happy Halloween. Bottoms up. Mmm, tasty. You know, I don't feel any different. I'm not sure that what? Follow My Radar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.